Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and yes, I'm going to be bringing you another update integration video. This time we're going to be doing it with Microsoft Office, and I'm going to show you all what to do. So first off, we need two things. First off, you're going to need an ISO image of Microsoft Office. This works with either 2010 or 2013. I'm going to be using 2010 for this example. And next, you're also going to need Win Toolkit, of course. So all the links are going to be down below to download everything in the description, but you want to extract your Win Toolkit. Go ahead, open it up from the exe file. It's going to bring this up. We can exit out of it. You want to come over to main, update catalog, and from here, you want to select what you want to do. Now, I already have all the updates, but for this, we're going to be doing Microsoft Office. So if you're using 2010, you have to do post SP1, which means you need to get a copy of Office 2010 with Service Pack 1. Now, I'm, as I said, I'm going to have a link down below for the ISO image of it, but this is not a free copy of Office. This is assuming that you do either want a trial of it or you have a license key ready for it. It's not pre-cracked or anything. It's straight from Microsoft. So you can pick that for a 64-bit or you can pick an x86 copy for a 32-bit OS. Now, I've already downloaded both of them because the ISO I downloaded has both 64 and 32-bit copies. But anyways, you just pick whatever you want. Everything that is checkmarked here is already required. And as you can see, I mean, this is everything that's really needed and recommended. So you hit download, you let it take some time, and you have everything download to wherever you want it to be at. Once you have all the downloads done, I'm not gonna be showing it because it's already been done. You can just exit out of that, exit out of that right there. And you wanna come over to where you have your Microsoft Office ISO. Now right here, I already have one that I prepared, but I'm gonna be doing a new one. So you just wanna right click your vanilla ISO, the one that you haven't modified, and extract it over to a folder and just let it extract. Now right here, once you have your extracted folder, you just wanna check it right here, you have everything. Now the cool thing with this image that I've supplied is that it has this setup EXE you can run, but inside of each of these folders, the X64 bit one, there's also a setup specifically for that. And the same thing with this. So if you only want the 32 bit copy or the 64 bit copy, you can just directly rip the folder out of there and it's easy enough. However, for this, I'm gonna be doing it on both. So it really doesn't matter. So what you want to do, it is a lot easier, trust me, it's a lot easier than Windows integration. All you have to do is go over to where you have your updates, so I have my 64-bit updates here. Select all the ones you want, copy them over, come over here, go to your 64-bit OS, or if you did it with 86, uh, go ahead and do it with that with the x86 one. And inside of either, there's going to be a folder called Updates. You want to double click that. And inside there's this readme file, I'll even show it to you all right here, and it just says any patches placed in this folder will be applied during initial install, which is exactly what you want. You want to go ahead, just copy it and paste it into here. It's going to start copying everything over. And that's really all you need to do. So we'll go ahead and let this copy over and I'll show you what to do afterwards. All right, so now that we have all the updates in, I put them both into my 64-bit copy and my x86 copy right here, as you all can see. There are two, th there's a few things you can do. First off, you can just select burn right here and burn everything over to a disk. Or if you don't like that method of burning, you can also download one of my favorite programs, which is Image Burn. It's a free program, you can open that up, hit write files slash folders to disk, select all of them, copy over the ones you want at least, and then burn them straight off there. Or the final thing, you can just copy and paste these onto a flash drive or a portable hard drive and you'll be good to go. So if you have a serial key, that's all you need and you're set. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thanks for watching, and I hope I helped you all out with some installs.